What up, folks? I am Ultra Zillin. Today, I have a review of the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Zeo Green Ranger. That's right, my Zillions. Back to the Lightning Collection and Power Rangers in general. Good to be doing a, a figure here. And this one is courtesy of Hasbro by way of Ben's World of Transformers. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Hasbro, for sending this over. Um, I'm really excited to be doing this review. It's been a little bit since I did the Power Rangers Lightning Collection review. I do have a couple, uh, about two or three in my backlog that I need to do, and I will be mixing them in in the future, but I did want to get this one up as soon as possible because of that. Uh, and uh, it looks to be a good one, guys. Um, Zeo has always been, uh, you know, a very ornate looking Power Ranger team. And I think this one does it pretty well. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. Kicking things off with a little box art nerd. Been a while since I got to look at any of the Lightning Collection art on the boxes. And uh, they, they're they nice, man. Um, Rhea, Tom Whalen does a great job on the art on these. It's just like, it's just given them such a unique, awesome look. Really, really clean Love the logo. Love everything about this design. It's beautiful. Just a one shot on the back with the in the back. You know what I'm saying? The lightning bolt. Super good. Looks awesome. I have no complaints about this box. As a matter of fact, I just really love it. Articulation head is on a hinged ball joint. And you got this nicely moving upper body joint here. Doesn't have a waist joint, but you do have the uh, ratcheted ab joint. So you get the top and the middle here. So yeah, they never have a middle joint here, a midsection joint here, but you know, it's good. It's a good joint. You get butterfly joint, which is really awesome. You get a hinge swivel, you get a bicep swivel, you get double jointed elbow, you get the hinged hands here, which is weird on this one. Is it hinged? Yeah, it's hinged, but oh, it's tight. I'm not getting much uh, action on these particular hands. Splits that much, kicks forward, not really back. Swivel, double jointed knee, you get boot cut, you get rocker, hinge, at the foot and yeah i mean the lightning collection probably has some of the best articulation of the hasbro figures um and yeah this one's pretty good for the most part it is pretty darn good taking a look at this figure in full proportions are good you know they do do proportions well at hasbro their general figures do look fantastic um there's no doubt about that everything looks pretty good the helmet might be a tad small comparatively to you know there's supposed to be a head in there but you know in the grand scheme of this as a whole thing it's not that bad it's not that bad that head sculpt is pretty nice i love the shiny black visor then it's got the uh silver around that the rest of the head is just in green, but you get some good definition here at the front. Then here at the neck, you got this like kind of bracelet looking thing here, which is well done. The rest is white. You can see nice folds and wrinkles there at the collarbones. Uh, then you get the, the uh, gold here, which looks really good, really well sculpted and a nice gold on the back as well you don't get it right there it is what it is uh the arms look good you get nice folds and wrinkles you do have uh the gold here which looks pretty good well sculpted chest looks all right nothing crazy here but you you know you get the all the suit wrinklage there and the belt is very nicely done holsters look good the back of the belt you know all done in gold and that's good Nice folds and wrinkles all throughout here. You get the seam of the suit. That's all good. The legs look good. You get the seam of the suit on the sides, which is nice. 
the bottom of the, the top of the boots, I should say, has that nice ornate gold again with, you know, all the design work in there. Very nicely done. And the boots are pretty standard. They look good. It is fine. And yeah, it, it's a good Power Ranger figure. There's no doubt about it. The Lightning Collection do shine, though, with all the accessories. First up, you get a pair of fists. You get his blaster, which is really nicely done. You got gold there. You got red. You got black. You got silver at the tip there. Silver down here. Black hilt. Black up there. Yeah, really, really nice. I really like this a lot. Bring it in the Ranger here. That looks pretty good. I do like it. You can holster it up. Like so. And yeah, that's awesome. That looks really great. Then we get two axes here. I, I don't remember exactly what they're called. Um, no, like, you know, power axes. How about that? Silver, gold, green. Looking pretty good. I do have some little like excess gold there a um, couple little minor blemishes but they look really really nicely sculpted i really like these a lot and i do like how he looks with them um probably my preferred look is with uh with these in his hands although this hand is very very tight oh i'm gonna need to separate that probably with some heat all right, so I'm not going to do it here, but they do look good. They do look really, really good, actually. I love it. Very nicely done. We get a sword, Zeo sword. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I should have looked at all, what all of these were called beforehand, but it's light here. Um, silver, gold again. Really nice. This is classic Zeo looking. Blue hilt, gold at the bottom, which is really nice. I think uh, better in this hand. Probably, again, need to heat up this hand. Oh my gosh. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's looking pretty good. That's looking really, really good. And uh, you could put it right there. Like so. And this guy is uh, looking awesome. Arming up nicely, for sure. We get one little effect part here. Very flimsy plastic, but a nice, nice sculpt here. And I do like the translucent yellow. You're going to need that for the gun. Pop it right in there, I believe. Oh, am I wrong? Is it not for the gun? I thought it was for the gun. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Just didn't want to go in. But, yeah, that looks awesome. Uh, I really do dig that. That's very, very nice, especially when you put it back in his hand. That's cool. That's very cool. And last but not least, we get an Adam head here, and that looks pretty decent. The hair is big, but it looks good. And uh, the facial features, I think, are very nicely done. You can see it's printed well on this particular one. Lips look good. The eyes look good. Yeah, everything looks pretty good. He's got an earring there that looks nice. And uh, pop this off here. Put that down. See how easy or, or not this is to pop in. Oh, there we go. And yeah, hey. Whoa, that looks really good. I do like it, actually. I think that looks really cool. Um, you know, the great thing about these, you know, you could just set them up, you know, holding their helmets. And uh, that always looks nice, in my opinion. That really does. Uh, I just dig how these rangers look um, with their alternate heads. Um, I, I mean, I like them better with their actual helmets, but you know, if you're gonna like do them like this, they, they look good, they really do. So very nice, I, I very much dig this figure.
For your size comparisons, here's the Green Ranger with a bunch of figures you might have in your collection. And my final thoughts, I really dig this figure. I think it's really a nice addition to the Lightning Collection. The alternate head looks good. All the accessories are really cool. And you know, while yeah, the whole like knock, I think, on a lot of Power Rangers figures that I usually have uh, and why like I could only collect so many of them is a, a lot of the times the suits get boring, but the little details on this one um, are very cool. Uh, they're very well done, it's painted nicely, and it's sculpted well, so I'm happy, I'm happy with this figure, it's very cool, and you know, I mean, it does help that, <laughs> that I got this one for free, but you know, I, I am enjoying it, it is fun, and I, I really like the accessories a lot, and uh, it looks good with all of them, so... Very cool. I'm very happy with this one. I want to thank once again Ben of Ben's World of Transformers for sending this out to me, as well as Hasbro for sending them out to Ben, who could make the decision to send it out to me, and that was very cool. I do appreciate that. And uh, that's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts below, and if you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out, peace.